Hi, I'm Cooper. Hi, I'm Raisa. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. We, the Student Coalition for Racial Equality, would like to share with you people of color's presence in our history with our video series. This is our history. Hi, I'm Victoria. Hi, and I'm Cooper. Hi, I'm Steph. And we're the Student Coalition for Racial Equality. So as you know, November is Native American Heritage Month, and this month we wanted to focus on someone from Native American descent. And so today, the Student Coalition for Racial Equality would like to take a look at the influence of one Native American woman, Paula Gunn Allen. So without further ado, let's begin. From beyond time, beyond oak trees and bright clear water flow, she was given the work of weaving the strands of her body, her pain, her vision, into creation and the gift of having created to disappear. This excerpt and the greater poem it comes from, Grandmother, reads of one Native woman's relationship with her Native American heritage and tradition, that Native American woman being Paula Gunn Allen. In her life, Allen was many things. She was a poet, a novelist, an activist, and a well-spoken academic. Her Native American literature, though, created in a time often denying Natives in academic settings, offers an important view upon the intersectionality of sex, indigenous being, and varied ethnicity. Ellen was born in 1939 to a Lebanese-American father and a Laguna Sioux Scottish mother. For reference, Ellen was born only 15 years after the Indian Citizenship Act was passed which granted citizenship to all natives born in the U.S. Alan herself was born and raised by Laguna Pueblo in New Mexico. The culture and belief of the Laguna Pueblo people greatly centers itself around the women of the tribe. And with that culture all around her, Laguna matriarchal beliefs made a strong foundation in Alan's outlook on life. Along with that, Alan's perspective and perspectives and philosophies also blended with her mixed ethnicity, sexuality, and education in Native American literature, all of which came from her PhD in American Studies. In what, but in what might be her most expressed thoughts, Alan emphasized the importance of feminism to Native American culture and tradition, saying how with a more female-centric society, more egalitarian virtues could flourish. We can see those thoughts fully involved in what is probably her most revered writing, The Sacred Hoop, published in 1986. From that book, Alan shares this profound quote, and I say the sac sacred hoop of my people was one of the many hoops that made one circle, white as daylight and as starlight, and in the center grew one mighty flowering tree to shelter all the children of one mother and one father. Just as Alan had shared her thoughts on feminism in Native society, she, actually before publishing the sacred hoop, wrote The Woman Who Owned the Shadows in 1983 as a sort of way to convey to us the complex feelings that came with being of mixed ethnicity. What do you do when you love everybody on every side of the war? Is one telling quote from her writing and gives only a framed look into Alan's contesting relationship with her inner self. Yes, in her life, Alan gave to the world quite remarkable insights and revelations. But as it is, Alan passed away on May 29, 2008 after an arduous battle with illness. In her wake, Ellen leaves a scholarship in her name, a testament to education's role in life. An even greater testament is Ellen's profound writings on Native understandings and her sharing of her experiences of her ethnic complexities, for they leave an unchanging footprint upon the world's sands. Her words are concrete and already written, though, so what further can be said about her sharing of experience and knowledge is quite possibly how it conveys the intersectionality of all that she was, for she was an Indigenous American a woman, ethnically diverse, a writer, and of course, Paul Gunn Allen was all of those things at once. Thank you for watching this week's episode. We, the Student Coalition for Racial Equality, wanted to let you know that, again, it is Native American Heritage Month, and I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Oh, the frog. <laughs>